Hello, this is Imani Sonane and today I am going to talk about remote sensing, its types, its elements. Okay, so what is remote sensing? It is a technique or device of obtaining data of an object, area or phenomenon without coming in physical contact of that object, area or phenomena. So basically, it is a collection of data about an object from a distance. Humans and many other types of animals accomplish this task with the help of eyes or by this by the sense of smell or hearing. So people use the technique of remote sensing to monitor or measure phenomenon found in the earth's lithosphere, biosphere, hydrosphere and atmosphere. Remote sensing of the environment by people is usually done with the help of mechanical devices known as remote sensors. So these gadgets have greatly improved ability to receive and record information about an object without physical contact. Often the sensors are positioned away from this object of interest by using helicopters, planes and satellites. Most sensing devices record information about an object by measuring an object's transmission of electromagnetic energy from reflecting and radiating surfaces. So, the remotely collected data may be in the various forms like variation in force distributions, acoustic wave distribution or electromagnetic energy distribution. So, the proper definition of the remote sensing is the art and art, science and technology of obtaining reliable information about physical objects and the environment through the process of recording, measuring and interpreting imagery and digital representation of energy patterns derived from non-contact sensor systems. So the moment I say art and science of taking measurement by the use of satellite sensing data and that being without physical contact. So let me explain little bit art and science. The moment I say art means how beautifully, how nicely you are making map by using satellite data. And science means how accurate, how scientifically perfect you are taking measurements of features that are earth surface features. So, how accurately you are trying to acquire information? How accurately acquire information about shape, size of physical as well as natural surface parts of the earth? That means, how close to the ground related we try to acquire the information? Because the issue is that when we plan for any area or when we plan for development of particular area, we need to access, we need to map, we need to study what all is, where is, so what, where and how much. So this type of questions we answered or to answer this question we need to study satellite remote sensing data.
So Sabins in 2000 defined remote sensing as the science of acquiring, processing and interpreting the images and related data obtaining from aircrafts and satellite that record the interaction between matter and electromagnetic radiation. So acquiring data means technology employed such as camera, electro-optical systems of scanning. Processing means what? The procedures that converts raw data into images. And interpretation means most important, it is the most important step because it converts an image into information that is meaningful and valuable for wide range of users. So, depending on the source of electromagnetic energy, remote sensing data can be classified as active and passive remote sensing system. So, first, active remote sensing system. In active remote sensing system, active sensors have its own source of light or illumination. In particular, it actively sends a pulse and measure the backscatter reflected back, backscatter reflected back to the sensors. So the example of active remote sensing systems are radar means radio detection and ranging sensor and lidar means light detection and ranging sensors. So what is the mechanism of radar and lidar we will see in our next video. Then second type of remote sensing is passive remote sensing system. So passive in passive remote sensing systems passive sensors measure reflected sunlight emitted from the sun. When the sun shines, passive sensors measure this energy. Most passive systems use, used in remote sensing application operate in visible, infrared, thermal infrared and microwave portions of electromagnetic spectrum. Okay. So, the most remote sensing system work in passive mode using solar energy with a source of electromagnetic radiation. Solar energy reflected by the targets at specific wavelength band are recorded using sensors on board airborne or spaceborne platform. In order to ensure ample of signal strength received at the sensors, wavelength or energy bands capable of traversing, traverse, traversing through the atmosphere without significant loss through atmospheric interactions are generally used in remote sensing. So, example of passive remote sensing system are TV camera and monochrome. Then the processes which are involved in remote sensing are data acquisition and data, data analysis. So first we will see what is data acquisition process. So in this we need first energy source that is emission of electromagnetic radiation through energy source. Then 
ट्रांसमिशन ऑफ एनर्जी फ्रॉम द सोर्स टू द ऑब्जेक्ट सो वॉट एवर एनर्जी इट इज ट्रांसमिटेड फ्रॉम सन और एनी एक्टिव डिवाइस थ्रू द एटमोस्फियर देन इंटरेक्शन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक रेडिएशन विद द ऑब्जेक्ट एंड सबसिक्वेंट रिफ्लेक्शन एंड इमिशन सो when these rays or electromagnetic radiation are in contact with the object some rays are reflected some are emitted back reflected back and emitted then transmission of energy from the object to the sensor so whatever reflected rays transmitted to the sensors which are attached to the satellite okay then recording of the energy by by the sensor so whatever the sensor which is which is present in that satellite it records that reflected rays then transmission of recorded information to the ground station then this ground stations or ground station process this data in the digital form or in the form of hard copy so then this hard copy or digital format it is analyzed by the computers then second process is a data analysis it is a process in what examining the data using various viewing and interpretation devices to analyze pictorial data and or computer to analyze digital sensor data to assess the data analyze reference data about resources being studied are used wherever available the analysis extract information about the type extent location and conditions of various resources over which the sensors data were collected the information is then compiled in the form of hard copy maps and tables or as computer files that can be merged with the other layers of information in gis that is geographical information system as i said earlier then most important topic in remote sensing that is electromagnetic spectrum or electromagnetic radiation okay so what is electromagnetic spectrum so in remote sensing some kind of energy is acquired to illuminate the earth surface for this purpose, purpose different forms of elect electromagnetic energies are used so what is electromagnetic energy electromagnetic energy refers to all energy that moves with the velocity of light in simple harmonic wave pattern that is pattern consisting of waves that occur at equal intervals of time so electromagnetic waves are consist of first electric wave and magnetic wave and these electric waves and magnetic waves are at right angles and perpendicular to the direction of 
propagation. So these waves obeys this general equation that is c is equal to v lambda where c means the velocity of light which is constant that is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second. V is the frequency and lambda is the wavelength of electromagnetic wave. So, when these electromagnetic waves encounter with matter, whether it is solid, liquid or gas, it is called as a incident radiation. So, during interaction, the intensity, direction, wavelength, polarization and phase of incident radiation changes. So, the science of remote sensing detects and records these sense changes. Then, we interpret the resulting images and data to determine the characteristics of matter that, that interacted with the incident electromagnetic radiation or energy. So, first is a transmission. So, it is passes through the substance. The transmission of energy through media of different densities that is from air to water. So, when these electromagnetic radiations enters from air to water, this results in change in velocity of electromagnetic radiation. So, the ratio of two velocities is called as a index of radiation or index of refraction. So, n is equal to C A into C S where A is the air and S is a substance. Absorption. Absorption of electromagnetic radiation is how matter takes a photon energy and so transforms electromagnetic energy into internal energy of the absorber. So, it gives rise to heating of matter. Then, emission. So, emission of the spectrum of chemical element or chemical compound is a spectrum of frequencies of electromagnetic radiation emitted due to an atom or molecule making a transition from a high energy state to a low energy state. The photon energy of emitted photon is equal to the energy difference between two states. There are many possible electron transitions for each atom and each transition has a specific energy difference. So, emission by this substance usually at longer wavelength as a function of its structure and temperature. Then, scattering. So, interaction between electromagnetic waves and particles produce unique scattering pattern that are wavelength and particle size dependent. As electromagnetic waves propagate through matter, they interact with particles or inhomogeneous material and lo locally perturb the local electron distribution. This variation produces periodic charge separation within the particle causing 
oscillation of the induced local dipole moment. So this periodic acceleration acts as a source of electromagnetic radiation and this causes scattering. The majority of scattered wave oscillate at the same frequency as the incident wave and is termed as elastic scattering. So it is deflected in all directions. Surfaces with dimensions of relief or roughness comparable to wavelength of incident radiation energy produces this scattering. So the types of scattering we will see in our next video. Reflection The reflection of electromagnetic radiation involves the returning of radiation by surface upon which the radiation is incident. So, the angle of reflection is equal to the angle of incidence. It is caused by surface that are smooth relative to wavelength of the incident energy. So, this is about the introduction of remote sensing and electromagnetic waves and its interaction with object. So, in our next lecture, or next video, we will see energy source and radiation principles and forms of electromagnetic spectrum. Thank you.